Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading using the Dame Darcy Mermaid Tarot. And that was the deck that was the winner in this week's Facebook poll. So I had two decks. It was the Polina Tarot or the Dame Darcy Tarot. Um, and I put a poll out on my Facebook page to see which, which deck people wanted me to use for this reading. And it was actually neck and neck. It was... Um, I think 51 or 52 percent wanted this one and then 49 percent wanted uh, Paulina Tarot. So this one won by a little bit. Okay so this reading is going to be a reading for the week ahead and each card is going to represent a different aspect of the upcoming week and I'm joined by my helpful kitty Merlina who's <laughs> sitting right next to me and she's not gonna look at the camera. <laughs> Uh, and my foster kitties are still doing well. They're downstairs, but it's cold down there. So I thought I would do my reading upstairs with Merlina today. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups and it's reversed. And I think all these cards are going to be... Oh no, the other ones are upright. Oh, weird. Okay, so I always shuffle my cards um, so that there aren't any reversals because I don't like reading reverse cards. But this one just shows up reversed. So I'm going to read it reversed. So we've got the Ace of Cups. And it seems like I often get aces at the beginning of a week. Um, and so here we have the Ace of Cups. Now, normally I would interpret the Ace of Cups as being a new beginning in terms of relationships, being able to express your feelings, uh, some kind of friendship or something, but some kind of new beginning at the beginning of the week. And because it's reversed, I feel like this, to me, when I, when I look at this card reversed, it looks like a hand possibly coming out of, well, coming out of the sky, which is wet. <laughs> it's like a watery sky. And it looks like raindrops coming down. So it looks like this hand coming out of the sky and, and dumping a cup upside down, like pouring a cup out. I feel like this represents what we sometimes do where we might repress our emotions for a long time and then all of a sudden we just kind of explode and blah just like dump all of our feelings and our emotions onto uh whoever's nearby or <laughs> whoever will listen and i feel like this card really represents that um expressing of emotions in almost an inappropriate way so this is something to be aware of as we enter the week so be aware like pay attention to your emotions and your feelings and make sure you're managing them so that they don't just sort of get repressed and, and brushed under the rug until they become too strong uh, and too destructive to manage properly I think that you might have an urge this week, especially near the beginning of the week, to just burst into tears or to freak out or to just really pour your heart out to a stranger. And these things aren't necessarily bad. <laughs> it's not necessarily anything wrong with that. Um, but you just want to be aware of that and be aware of the desire to just suddenly express your emotions to someone because it may not be helpful to you in the long run if you do this. It might be seen as unprofessional or it might put the other person in kind of an awkward position or you might regret it later. You may regret kind of going that far and really opening up and sharing all of your feelings <laughs> to whoever it is that you share them with. So just something to keep in mind at the beginning of the week. And then as we get into the middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday, we have the Two of Cups. Now the Two of Cups is all about relationships and it's all about either romantic relationships, friendships, um, working relationships, but it's about finding someone that you really click with, someone who shares your vision or someone who shares your understanding, your desires, your goals, your plans, someone who really gets you and someone that you really get and really understand. This actually doesn't happen very often that we meet up with someone who we feel just really clicks with us. And this may not even be about another person in your life. It could also represent discovering someone's work that you really click with. I think we've all had that feeling when we read a book or listen to some music or you know, watch a stand-up comedian and there's just something about their performance or, or what they write 
or their music that just really resonates with us on a deeper level. And I feel like that's kind of something that's going to show up for us in the middle of the week. There's going to be an important connection that's going to be made. But I also want to talk a little bit about relationships because I feel like this Ace of Cups and Two of Cups are very much connected. And I think that this week there may be a little bit of um, tumultuousness, um, thinking of another, I'm trying to think of another word <laughs> that's like tumultuousness. Um, not, not so much chaos, but perhaps a little bit of emotional chaos on a smaller scale this week in, in our relationships, particularly I think our romantic relationships and our very close friendships. And I feel like a lot of this has to do with repressing our feelings. So not talking about something or not speaking up about something that bothers us because we don't want to cause a scene. So we kind of just try to forget about it. We brush it under the rug and then this thing keeps happening. And then our, our disgruntledness, our, our annoyance just increases. And then all of a sudden, you know, you tell this person how much this bothers you, but instead of it being a calm discussion, it's this emotional outburst. <laughs> So that's just something to kind of uh, look out for this week. Okay, so let's move on to the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And here we have the Page of Pentacles, which in some ways kind of balances out the other two cards. I feel like Pentacles is a very earthy, very solid, very grounded suit, unlike the Suit of Cups, which is more watery, it's, it's more emotional, it's less stable. Oh, look at my cat. She's being so bad. She just, she p took the scarf in her mouth and just like tugged on it and knocked my, knocked my cards down. Okay. Um, so I feel like uh, that card kind of complements the other two quite nicely. But this is a page. This is about being inexperienced, being, being young. And the page of pentacles, I feel, is a student. He's a student of... I often picture the Page of Pentacles being like a bookworm, <laughs> being the kind of student who likes to do research. If he wants to learn more about something, he's going to do research. He's going to read books. Whereas, you know, the Page of Wands is probably going to want to have an experience to learn about something. But the Page of Pentacles is, he, he's all into the book knowledge. I feel like this is urging you to look something up in a book to do your research, whatever it is that you're wanting to know more about or whatever problems you're having right now, whatever challenges you've come up against this week, the answers and, and a lot of help I think can be found in a book this week. I wouldn't say that about everything, but this week I feel like that's what these cards are telling you. They're saying, you know, get a really good book and see what you can learn from that. Or maybe not even a book, but consulting an expert or a mentor or someone who knows more about this subject or this topic than you do. Okay, so I'm going to look at all of these cards together and see if there's anything else that jumps out at me. Mm, okay, so one message just kind of pops into my head here when I look at these three cards. And the message is that sharing your feelings, sharing your thoughts and your feelings with another human being should be like an offering, not a dumping. So don't, don't dump your feelings on someone. Don't dump your problems on someone or dump your opinions on someone. Think of it as an offering. Think of offering your opinions or offering your feelings and your viewpoint. Think of it more as an offering rather than um, just inundating someone <laughs> with that. I hope that makes sense. Ugh, my cat's really, Merlina, you're beautiful.